Hey guys, it's Effing Controller here, playing more Uncharted Waters New Horizons as Ernst, and we are in Amsterdam and we're about to set off on a voyage. A voyage of danger and discovery, and probably really obnoxious dialogue between our main character and the woman that's aboard and his first mate, but we are going to just set sail. Um, what I've done is... I've put the uh, bum fondle into moorage, so it's just going to be sitting, chilling in Amsterdam while we're on our trip here. I've also remodeled this ship, and oh boy, is it ever slow. Cool. Eight knots. All right. Our U-boat actually goes a little faster than that. But anyways, um, so we have a maximum sailing range of 20, but we have 600 tons of cargo on board so we're you know got a lot of shit on board we're going to be able to do a lot of trading on the way i kind of debated whether or not i should keep the bum fondle in the fleet and i decided not to keep it just because i think it actually will add an element of challenge having the bum fondle sort of well actually i don't know it might have actually made things a little tougher because there would be more food that we'd have to buy and everything but I don't know. I made the decision. <laughs> I thought it would make things more difficult because um, of the speed thing, but speed isn't an average in this game. You move as fast as your slowest ship, which makes sense. We're going to stop here real quick and then get some food because we're probably going to end up getting into a storm here, but I don't want to be parked on shore for too long. And one thing I haven't really done in this game is really talk to any of the people in ports. Usually they don't say anything important. Like this guy is gonna say, you can borrow money from a bank. Wow, that's completely novel. I had no idea that you could do that. that that's what banks were for. Um, and then this guy is going to resist our advances <laughs> and then finally talk to us. When you need to recall something important, open your journal. Fascinating. I guess I could use that in certain circumstances where I've forgotten when I've done things, but no, we're not gonna bother with that. How about you? Tell me something. Great. Light galleys are probably the worst ship in the game. Um, there is only one person, though, in uh, a port that is worth talking to, and that is the dog. Aww. And also, um, there's... Her? No. There's a female that will be in every port that will give you actual useful information, whether it's, like, historical information about the port... In this case, she's just giving us good Voyager information about using rat poison to kill rats, which again is like no dir. But um, they'll usually like talk about the history of the location and everything, and that's kind of interesting. So I regret not showing that to you guys before, but meh. I kind of the way that I play this game, I just like to cruise through it and get a bunch of money and fame and attack a bunch of people and just go crazy in it, but. And I've read most of those bits of flavor text, I guess you'd call them, so... It's not new to me, but it may be new to you. So there you go. If we run into any other ports anytime soon, I'll try to remember to talk to the people just so that you can... Uh-oh. Just so that you can get an idea of um, how the game kind of works with that stuff. Anyways, we're gonna pull over and wait for the storm to pass. going to take a while. So, how about that local sports team? Look at those trees. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, thank God. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. So, yeah, as far as where we're going... I guess that's an important thing to know. We're going to be going... Um, wow, look at that mustache. Well done, sir. We're going to be going around the Cape of Good Hope. And then we're going to go to... Um, we're going to cut across the Indian Ocean. And then from there... I believe that we're going to sail north and get that little block along the Sockelands that I talked about in the last video. And then we're going to go through Canada and get the Baffin Island piece. Um, 
Now, the way that I used to understand how this scenario worked was that really the only blocks of exploration that count are the ones that contain land. However, I am not so sure about that anymore because I don't think that Mercator really even cares. I think he just wants you to explore like a certain percentage of the entire map that you can explore before he says, congratulations, you're done, <laughs> basically. So I haven't really put that to the test. Maybe this will be my test. In fact, what I could do is I could leave a little block unexplored and see if that does it. But um, let's talk to you. I'm talking to you. No, I don't care. I'm talking to you. Fascinating. Very good to know. All right. So actually, for now though, for now we're gonna have to sit through some dialogue that we've read dozens of times before. Oh my goodness. Drama. We're gonna go to Sofala, I think it is, and sell off our beads and get a bunch of gold. And then from there we're gonna probably cut across the Indian Ocean. Boy, this ship is just I mean, it is slower than the La Real, relatively speaking. It's not a slow ship, though. I mean, we are moving nine knots, even though the current and the wind are against us. I guess the nautical term would be in irons. Good grief, though. Jeez. Tacking doesn't really help. That's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to sail against the wind here. Um, but we're still making pretty minimal progress. There we go. Getting a little better. I think we'll be able to make it to um, Sofala directly as so we get around the cape here. There we go. Winds are a little bit better now. If the wind is at your back, this ship is really, really fast. It just usually isn't the case. Looking good. There we are. Okay. Now we're gonna unload our beads on some unsuspecting merchants. They did not come out of the bum fondle though, so the comedic effect is much lessened. Oh, tell us about this port, dear lady. This port thrived from Indian Ocean trade even before Europeans arrived, and they promptly ruined everything with their glass bead price deflation strategy. Ha ha ha. I ruin everything, including video games. All right. So you can see I have, uh, you can see, blah, kind of fat fingered that, if that makes sense. That doesn't make sense. Anyways, we... <laughs> How could you verbally fat finger something? I don't know if I want to know. Uh, anyways, we have 600 lots of glass beads, and they sell for a huge profit, but again, the point isn't to get profit off of the beads. The point is to ruin the economy and then buy gold. And we have to do it in lots of 50 to achieve the maximum effect. We're getting about 3 to 4% deflation with each uh, lot, so that's pretty good. That's 2%, I guess, but we'll still make a tidy profit off of the gold that we buy. Now we're only getting 1%. Still is best to do it in lots of 50 even when you start getting into the 2 and 1% loss there. And there we are. Okay. Now we're going to buy gold. Invest in gold. And that's pretty good. I should have actually checked to make sure that that was a good price um, as opposed to some of the other ports around here which sell gold, but meh. Buy 600 lots of gold, and we have a. Well, we're gonna be able to make it okay, I think. 
I was a little bit worried about the amount of gold that we have, but that's plenty actually to get us around the world and everything. Alright, so we're going to resupply and let's take a look at the map real quick. Yeah, I think I'll sail around the southern tip of Madagascar there and actually dock at that uh, blinking supply port off to the east. And then I'll sail for um, Australia. Hopefully we can make it there. Be a little bit embarrassing if we couldn't but and that way we'll at least explore some of the Indian Ocean there too and get possibly some credit for that I don't know why I came to the conclusion that it doesn't that ocean sp uh, squares that get explored don't count towards your Mercator scoreometer but um, I somehow have fallen into that belief and I am probably mistaken and thinking back, I'm trying to remember some of the first times I played this game, because I think he does give you credit. I think I did have an instance where I explored only like a little bit of something, like just a few squares north of Europe. And he did give me points, although I don't remember if those were ocean squares or not. But regardless, we're going to just... I don't know, we're just going to explore everything. I think basically though... Regardless, you still have to fundamentally almost completely explore the world in order to complete the scenario, so it doesn't really make a huge difference. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about the winds that we're going to be running into as we try to cross the ocean here, because I can already tell that we've got a headwind. How about we do that? This is an instance where tacking will help. Although, with that said, if we start going... Going into the wind again. Ah, crap. We gotta keep our eye on the wind gauge there. We're seeming to be moving northeast quite a bit just because of the favorability of the wind. Let's see where we are. Yeah, we're going far more. Um, northeasterly than I intended, so we're going to cross back down southeast. And it seems like every time I get a wind where I can start moving south, it changes. See? <laughs> yeah, this thing is just not really built for this kind of voyaging, but... Um... Really, if you're into, like, min-maxing the game and, like, totally playing it to get the absolute most out of uh, your ship or your um, experience, like getting the most points and everything, the uh, full rigged isn't really the best for this kind of stuff. There are ships that you get later in the game, and in the case of Ernst, much later in the game, that are much better suited for these kinds of voyages, but um, like I said, this they're not going to become available to Ernst until well after it's going to be useful to us. We're going to go ahead and actually sail north and stop it. I think that's Banda or Sunda or something. It's Jakarta. Just get a little bit of food. There we go. And then we're going to find that missing port that I mentioned before. Oh boy! Yes, he's a real bastard and we hate him. That's pretty much the punchline. We know we know that Ernst is self-effacing and kind of a punk. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to move right along. I really wish that the audio glitches would stop. It's kind of obnoxious to get like this foghorn sound going as I'm just trying to listen to the music. But it didn't seem to use to happen before. I don't know why it's decided to start doing that, but... Mildly unpleasant. Okay, so we're gonna sail probably towards Moresby. Let me, yeah, let's go to Moresby and then we'll, or I guess it's Attenborough, and then we'll uh, find that missing port. And I almost feel like I should start frame skipping, but no, I, I set the rule up. I'm not gonna do that. 
Because as I said, part of the reason I even let's play is to try and enjoy games more and not feel like I have to rush through them like they're a job or something, so... I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the scenery as we sail through the Spice Islands. Eight days... a week... This should be... is that Australia there? Yes. really tempted to frame skip those too. <laughs> it's not exactly thrilling watching me kind of slowly move through the... what is this? The, I don't know. Sea of Outback Steakhouse. I don't know what this is. Botany Bay or something? SS Botany Bay! Okay, we're gonna land here in Attenborough. And then we're gonna hopefully find this missing port. And I didn't think of a funny name for it. Now that I am, um... Now that I am on my way there, I actually realized they should have come up with something jokey, but... Oh well. I'll just come up with something on the fly. I'll be extemporaneous. I'll be witty and clever for once in my life. I do miss the La Real now. I really wish I had taken it, but it wouldn't have helped any, so. Alright, so, yeah, it's probably going to be about due east of here. Maybe a little bit northeast. Oh. Nope, that's the Solomons. We've already seen those, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be due east of here. Maybe. Hopefully. I know it's here. Come on. Well, hopefully we're getting some explore or exploration credit for doing this, but... It's not looking too promising. Let's look at the map, because sometimes it'll appear on the map before... Oh, I bet it's... Let's try to do south. Sometimes it'll appear on the map before it actually appears um, on screen, which is kind of cheesy, I guess, but... Where are you, island? I'm looking for you. I'm going to find you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, it's not where I was expecting it to be, so... This is kind of a tr- wait, hey, 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 who's that? What's that? That's what I was looking for. Suva! I think that this is, uh... Is this Tonga or Tahiti? That's not Tahiti. It's like Tonga or Samoa or something, but this is what I was looking for, so... We found it! We found every port in the game! And I'm going to rename this port in honor of our victory! Port Victory ah. in all capital letters. You have to shout it every time you say it. Victors! <laughs> Stop shouting at me, sir. Alright, I'm an idiot. So we found the port, that's good. Now we need to, um... Go up north, and I think I might try to just go due north, just because, will that get us where we need to go? No, it won't! Um, so we're gonna go to Guam then, which is northwest, and hopefully we'll get good wind. Looks like we are getting good wind to go that way. See, you don't need very much wind, it's just that if it's blowing against you, you will move extremely slow. Right now, we're cruising. We're hauling ass. Wow, are we already almost there? Nope, that's Rabal and New Britain and whatever. Look at that little tiny island. Oh, hello. We 
been here. A bunch of cute little islands. Oh, perfectly done. Ah, Port Bayo, that's right. Named after Charles and Charge. And Chachi. And the other thing that Scott Bayo was in. Not really a Scott Bayo expert, I'm not ashamed to say. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the <laughs> port that's basically a bunch of smiley faces. The Kirby port. Alright. Going through the Marianas. And about to hit Japan any minute. Any minute. Well, not any minute. Hopefully a minute that's soon. Am I too far east? Nope. We're actually perfect. This is pretty much bang on. Because then we'll go through the... I guess it's the Strait of Hokkaido or something. I don't know if that's actually what that's called. but There we go. And then we'll get that little block of exploration. <laughs> and... Uh, that's a, so adorable. It's so kawaii. Oh. Makes me want to paint my ship pinku. I'm an idiot. All right. Bodacious. Now, where exactly is this? I'm gonna, I think it's on the east side of the Sakhalins here. And if not, we'll just... Hey! Hey there, beautiful! Are you British? No. Kind of tempted to attack you. <laughs> I have this irrational urge to butcher you. But then again, I don't have any ports really that are nearby to sell the spoils. And I don't really have any room for cargo. And... Done. Right? Yes! Lovely. Okay, now we're going to go go around the tip of the Kamchatka here. Which I tend to do on a Friday night. It's not even remotely funny. And after that we're going to go northeast towards Blood Libel, I believe I named it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okadoki. We actually could keep going. It's probably ill-advised, but I'm not good at doing the right thing. I'm not good at uh, Spike Lee films. Wait, that's... Is that Russia? That's Russia. Okay, we are going to go to Blood Libel then. <laughs> doing it wrong. Perfect. Got good winds through here. Now... As we get further and further north, as I might have mentioned, you run into risks such as fog and um, like running out of, or uh, not running out of wind. Just eat beans. But um, bump. No, um, the wind can stop altogether, which is a bad situation. So wait, I'm just gonna take a look at you. What a luxuriant beard you have. It's such an impressive beard that I can see it from miles away through my telescope. Um, I think I'm... No, I'm going the right way. Okay. So this is... Pribilof Island or whatever, I think. And there we go. Booyah! Booyah, Grandma! Supply up here in Blood Libel. then I'm going to be real embarrassed if um, that little block can't be explored but maybe what we'll do just to make up for it is get some of the blocks to the north because I don't I mean by my logic if that's really how it works that only landed territories count there are um, blocks to the north that are technically considered land so even though they're the polar ice cap Wow, there's a lot of people using my newly discovered Northwest Passage, which would in all reality suck terribly. 
There's another fine looking beard. It's a little scrappy, actually. It's not a very good beard. I take that back. Your beard is terrible. Sailing right on. Good winds, though. <laughs> as soon as I say that, it blows directly in my face. That's fantastic. We could sail back uh, over the top of Russia, but... Oh, wait, but that would defeat the whole purpose. I'm an idiot. And we should be hitting the North Pole. There we go. So now we're going to head back this way. And I'm a little bit worried about whether or not we'll be able to hit Sunnyvale. And it's massage parlor and uh, shopping cart shed. Hopefully Bubbles will be there waiting for us. With a rum and coke. I love that show. And you know what? I haven't watched it in a long time. I really need to bone up, if you will, on my uh, Trailer Park Boys. That's a neat little island. You know what? I think that that might have a discovery on it every now and then. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it that there is a discovery for the uh, Aurora Borealis, which might be there. I don't remember if we already discovered that or not, though. My memory is terrible, so if I've already gotten that or if I've already mentioned it, then disregard that. But I do believe, other than like the sable, sa yeah, saber-toothed tiger, there are other Arctic discoveries that you can get. So it is important to check out these northern climbs if you have a chance to. Okay, we should be okay as far as getting to um, Sunnyvale here. It actually would be summertime here, so it would probably live up to its name. Thanks to the Arctic summer. 29 hours of sunlight a day, or whatever it is. All right. Resupply, and then we're going to get hopelessly lost here in the uh, northern islands of Canada. It's going to be really bad. All right, let me look exactly where we're going, just to be absolutely sure. You know what? We're going to go ahead and go to uh, Shit Tree first. Because I'm going to need to get a little bit more food and water before we go on our big adventure. See, that's the kind of stuff right there that makes this area so hazardous in a slower ship. Is if you get stuck in one of those, you spend like a day or two trying to get out. <laughs> and then you run out of food and then you die. So there you go. No La Real, not a problem in a big stupid ship like this. Big problem. And that was close. I was worried that that was another pointless straight there. Getting good winds, though. Fog isn't really a problem um, at this point in the game because all fog really does is it just pixelates the screen really badly and makes it. It has the added effect of making it hard to see stuff with your telescope, so you like have to be right next to something in order to discover it, like say it's a port or a village. But since we've covered everything pretty much at this point, um, there's no real danger to it, it's just obnoxious. I think it might slow down your ship slightly, but it's certainly not a serious issue. Alright. Now we should be on the home stretch. There you go. Here comes some fog. And you usually get it in Hudson's Bay like this. I think we're in Hudson's Bay. We're almost to Hudson's Bay. We need to actually sail west. See, I'm hopeless in this area. I'm really bad at navigating through here. That looks just awful. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing this on like an Amiga or something. Piece of shit. Sail! Now, if you run out of food, you don't immediately die or anything. Um, it's just like in real life, you can go for a little while without food. Um, same is actually true of water in this game, although that's definitely not as true in real life. Um, so if we get a little bit... 
the winds are just awful here. We need to start sailing south, but we gotta gut it out. There we go. I think we're okay now. Cutting it really close though. Made it to shit tree in all of its pixelated glory. I'm really glad that I didn't have to do any of the more northerly explorations in this ship because that would have been miserable. It would have been really, really bad. But we are just barely here in time to supply up. And now we're going to go up to Baffin Island and complete our charting of these uncharted waters. Once again, I have broken the fourth wall. All right. And the wind is to our favor now. And we're going to go into that little bay that's on the western side of Baffin Island. Probably just called Baffin Bay or something, or St. George, Prince of Wales, Duke Clarence Bay. All these islands have like really regal names, like Prince William Island and Queen Christian Frederick land. All right, well, that was easy. <laughs> we're already done with that. All right, so now we're going to head south, and I think I will take us to New York to uh, supply up, and then we'll try and clear out some of the Atlantic. Well, actually, we've done pretty good there. That may not be necessary. Well, we'll do it anyways. We'll get a little bit southeast of New York and try to get some... God damn it, I forgot where I was going. Yeah. Okay, good. Go southeast of New York a bit and clear up some of those black bars, revealing tantalizing delights that were censored from us. Beautiful. Getting good wind. Probably would make more sense to go to uh, Greenland, but meh. Don't care. I really doubt Mercator is going to pay us very much for this, so if it turns out that... Where did you come from? You're clearly upset, so I'm not even going to talk to you. Um, if it turns out that Mercator needs a lot more exploration, I don't know whether or not I'll record all of that, because it's just going to be me going through empty spaces of sea, and it might be kind of boring for you guys to watch, but... We'll burn that bridge when we get to it, so it may not even be a real concern. But I have a feeling it will be. Hey, who's that up there? I just saw a fleet. I'm easily distracted. I need to actually get back on course. Alright. I think that was a pirate. I'm pretty sure that was like Kyra Din or something. Which begs the question of why I was even interested in going and saying hi. It's like seeing a sex offender and saying, May I shake your hand, sir? Alright, New York. Here we are. Oh, I gained a level. That's uncommon at this point in the game. Get some food. Some delicious, uh... Dinty Moore cans loaded up. Mm -mm. Onward. Some frozen macaroni and cheese, probably. Spam. Undoubtedly, there will be spam involved. Okay, we're going to go just a bit northeast of Bermuda and then turn east, because Bermuda is the line where storms can occur, and if we're in the middle of the ocean like this, storms are miserable. So, we're just going to keep going. I do wish that the storms in this game were slightly more random, um, just because you, at this point, I mean, I know where all of them might occur, so it's kind of easy to avoid them and makes it a little bit cheesy, but I guess that just makes me an expert navigator. Getting really excellent wind, though. That's awesome. And there's some land there. That looks like the Canaries. Yep, this is Africa. We did it. So I'm probably just going to go to Lisbon. Well, no, we'll go to Bordeaux. 
Wait, no, why would we go to Bordeaux? It doesn't really matter. We don't have any discoveries to report. We'll go to Amsterdam, I guess. Report our discoveries and get a disappointing amount of gold. He will probably say go explore more, and at that point I'll uh, probably end the video and try to figure out what to do, because... <laughs> I'll probably get out into the La Real because that was probably the most challenging part was sailing with this thing. Uh, and then once I get the La Real, I'll just cruise through and try to get as many squares explored as possible. We should also sell our gold and see how much we make off of that. I'll do that first. Planning as I'm playing. Who are you and what are you doing there? I'm an oil man. He does look like, uh, what's his face? And who are you? You're Dutch. I don't care. We'll wait until daylight. Alright. Well, we did get some experience for our crew, though. The longer that you're out at sea, the more your experience accrues for your crew, so that was actually a good little exercise for us to engage in. Let's talk to the lady here by the trade office. You certainly can. All right, let's go ahead and go to the trade office and get Mad Dalla Dalla. Let's see how much we have. Holy crap! ka <laughs> I immediately have made back all the money I wasted on getting this thing equipped and everything. And then some. Okay, and then let's go to Mercator and he's gonna probably be like, wow, here's 5,000 gold. Great job, dick. Actually, you should pay me 5,000 gold for wasting my time with your trifling discoveries. Yeah, that was not much. But it actually seems to indicate that we were getting credit for um, sea discoveries because we really didn't explore that much land. We explored a little bit to the north. We got some parts like Sakhalin that I was mentioning earlier, and then we got um, some of Baffin. But that would seem to indicate that C-squares do count. So I've proven something. We've learned something together, viewers. So, yeah, we're probably going to have to take the La Real down south and explore a bunch of that. We'll probably have to go through the Pacific and... Ugh, this could take a while, but we have to do it. So I think I will sign out for now and pick things up next video with explorations of the entire ocean. So this has been Epic Controller playing Uncharted Waters New Horizons, and I'll see you guys again later on.